I'm Dr. Lizzie Burns. I have been creating some resources to inspire you about viruses and vaccines. Get creative, learn about the science and hopefully have a bit of fun as well. So I have designed my own <laughs> origami syringe and this is to celebrate vaccines. And I'm going to show you how to fold your own syringe, so thinking about vaccines and also a little traditional heart as well because it's all about care it's about thinking about others and that you can help protect everybody through vaccines so hopefully you may have a sheet that you've um you've got printed out if you haven't got a sheet it's absolutely fine i will show you how to do that so hopefully you've got a sheet like this and all we're going to fold from is just a strip so if you're not able to print this out that's fine just cut off a, a strip around that sort of around that sort of width it's not an exact but you use the whole length of the paper so I've got a little bit of a choice here um, obviously we don't we don't get a choice they all work very well we've been very lucky with vaccines so here I've just drawn a little cartoon showing um, these are like little cold viruses and it's a way that um, that the information to make little tiny safe bits of the spike of the virus can be delivered into your body and encourages a lovely strong immune reaction uh, which will then mean if ever you caught the real virus you'd be kept safe so that's like the oxford astrazeneca vaccine the one down below shows little little messages to be able to make again the little spike protein so that your body makes that so actually in many ways it's it's the same principle it really is and so this would be like the pfizer vaccine which would uh, be the messenger rna vaccine so you can choose which one you want they're all good and it doesn't matter which one you have it's all excellent so if you grab yourself um that that piece of paper or just cut off a strip of paper i'm going to show you how to fold fold a syringe it's all about a sort of general principle i hope you'll find this fun it, i have to say it looks a lot friendlier than a real needle doesn't it i think none of us really like vaccines so it's part of my making this hopefully a little bit friendlier and a bit fun all right here goes it'd be lovely to see um to see syringes from all over the world celebrating vaccines so you could maybe color that in as well so first of all i'm going to go to the blank side and i'm just going to fold it in half it just gives me a nice halfway line there we go and you're very very welcome to uh make as many syringes as you want to pass this on encourage anybody who would like to join us it's very much free for anybody to use okay so i've got a nice halfway line so first of all if you think of this as the front of your syringe we're just going to do the top part maybe if i keep that there then you can see what it is we're aiming for so i'm going to just fold over the top this is going to make that top bit of your syringe like so there we go now we're going to turn to the back because that's actually the workings of our vaccine there of our syringe so we're going to turn it to the back and the way that you can sort of um i suppose narrow the paper is to be able to bring it inwards and direct this down a bit there we go is i'm going to bring in a little tiny strip just trying to bring in the width narrow this syringe and as i narrow it up here you will find that it can form a nice little triangle at the top so that's the way that you could sort of squash it down it looks like a tiny little mini house maybe and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so i'm going to do a similar size or a little bit of a guesstimate that's fine bringing that in a bit there we go just take your time and i suppose it's about trying to keep it fairly level which i'm just doing in my own eye there's no measurements and just enjoy that it'll take a bit of concentration but you'll do it and again here I'm working up and then i can squash it down and it makes a little little triangular shape there we go right so you can see from the front that's how it's looking and next i am going to do the top little part of the syringe so up here so i am going to bring it up 
around that sort of height like so folding it there and then folding it with a little tuck at the front right we're going to go to the back again this is where all the all the working is going on here we go and we need this to kind of come out again really so you can see we want this to come out so to do that i'm gonna slowly and gently you don't want to tear your paper to have a go at bringing this out can you see i have it's almost like making that triangle again i'm bringing it out just gently and it should mean that you can bring it out to the full width of the paper again like so you just have to be very patient with the paper so you don't want to tear it but i've managed to get back to the full width again so my next step here is to take this and i bring it all the way down again keeping everything lined up it's another little tuck and then all the way back again so i have done that little tuck there so from the front hopefully i see we've got that little width there oh it could be a bit neater it'll be fine <laughs> You can see any little, any little creases, but that's the little shape there. Now again, we need to sort of narrow it down again. So turning again to the back, it's the same principle. We want to go back to the line that we were on. So I'm bringing it in and again, squashing that down. It makes that little triangle like so. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, take your time and do it nice and neat if you can. And again, I'm bringing that in, which will make it the same width as the syringe earlier. Again, squashing it down. There we go. That's looking good. Let's have a look at the front, see what we think. There we go. So we can see the vaccine in there, can't we? <laughs> um next we want to make the needle so we meant we want to make it that little bit uh narrower so it's the same principle each time we push in we make that little triangle so here we go again so i'm thinking i probably want to start around here so i'm gonna fold it upwards keep it all nice and lined up and then leave behind a little tuck. So I'm leaving a little tuck. Actually, I might go up a little bit higher. That's the great thing with origami. You can just reposition until you're happy. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm leaving behind a little tuck. And each time you leave a tuck, you want to be able to then push it in. So I am going to take this and I'm going to push it in I can actually use the existing line that I've got there so I'm um, just I suppose all I've done is just turn it over so it's the same thing lots of concentration needed that's it keeping everything nice and lined up and straight again squashing that down and the same thing with this one squashing it down there like so and then one more time because at the moment this would be a very wide needle which would not be fun so i'm going to again do the same thing pushing it up keeping it all nice and straight there we go and again leaving behind a tuck like so you may want to in the end just tape that down actually because it will stick up a bit otherwise we'll make it a little bit more rigid and it's the same thing that you want to be able to bring this inwards so again you may just be using the line that you've already got again squashing that down to make a little triangle and then the same thing here so we're pretty much halving that oh it's a nice narrow needle that's good <laughs> it'll it'll work well 
So I'm sort of halving that piece of paper there. So I'm hoping that you've managed to do this as well, like so. And you might want to, how's it looking? It's looking reasonable, isn't it? There we go. And you might want to try to narrow this as well. So you could just slightly narrow that too. trying to fold in the size is pretty thick by now the paper I'm just giving it a little bit of a shaping there and that should be your very own origami syringe i hope that's worked for you whichever whichever vaccine you've got there it's brilliant and i thought as well i could just share, share with you how to fold a heart as well because it's all about care and this is a really lovely piece of piece of origami it's quite simple it'll be simpler than that so grab yourself any piece of paper I've just got a little scrap piece of paper here I'm going to make myself a square doesn't matter what paper you have this is the principle you take a corner just line it up down there making a square underneath remove that rectangle like so good strong fold and again, you can tear that off. And I think I can do this one into the camera. So here goes. So you've made a square with a diagonal line. Next, we're going to go through the other diagonal and just do a little pinch in the middle. So I'm taking one corner and matching it up with the other, like so at the top. There we go. Opening it up, and I'm going to take the top. And I'm going to aim towards the middle, like so. Definitely be nice and exact. Good strong fold. And I'm now going to take the bottom corner and bring it all the way up to the top, like so. So it looks like this shape. And as it is, it's quite wide there. We're going to take this side and bring it up to that vertical line. So here we go, you can see a heart's appearing this side, bring it up to that vertical line like so. Nice little neat heart. So now it looks a bit pixelated, it looks a bit harsh, so I would definitely recommend taking the corner and folding that down like so, softening it a bit and the same with the sides. So maybe your hearts can go with your vaccine because it's all about care. There we go. I hope that's worked for you and uh, I hope you can have your vaccine soon. Thank you very much. I've had mine and I was very lucky I didn't have any side effects. I know it can vary, um, but it's all good. It's about encouraging your immune system, those antibodies and T cells to get ready to look after you and to look after others. Thank you. Bye-bye.